In this advanced rigging topic, we are learning about how to create a group for our rig. Um, so essentially what a group will be is that instead of having these big hierarchy trees um, inside of our scene, and you can imagine with having characters uh, complex like this, uh, if you had multiple characters inside of your scene, it would become quite big. Um, so essentially we are making a group which will be a single module that gives us access to this entire structure. Um, so first I want to make sure that I isolate the structure of my rig a little bit. So I have the, the master peg that is right here at the top that selects my entire character. And at the bottom I have my master comp which contains all of the different connections to um, the multiple modules that I had, the multiple nodes that I've connected in here. And I want to make sure that I don't select the reference uh, of my character that I initially brought in and as well as the um, basic structure that is there when we create the scene. So just bring these a little bit further down and enough to be able to make a selection of all of your modules right here without having to select these. So now I have all of these selected. What I can simply do is press Control G, G for group, and if we go see here, now I have a single module, a single node right here called group, and I can rename this um, Basel underscore group. underscore JR um, and now I have two connections right here one of them is already connected um, as you can see the character is showing so most likely the information of my drawings is going through on this left port let's click on the uh, little arrow over on the right of my node just to go and see what is happening in there so this is bringing me inside of my group. As you can see, if I want to go back to my top view, I just press here. And to go back in, I'm going to click on that. And now here is the group that I've created. As we can see, there's a little bit more, uh, a few more connections that weren't there initially uh, when I started. So I'm going to go to the multi-port out, which is essentially the connections that are outputted to my group node. So I have my master comp here, which was here initially. And I have this new composite that's been created um, that is over on the right port, the one that wasn't connected to anything when we were on our top view. Um, so what exactly are these connections? Where are they coming from? Um, this is Harmony's reaction to having um, unconnected drawing nodes so it went and connected all of them to a composite so all of our drawing pivots that we were using before uh, Harmony came and connected all of these to a composite just to make sure that you guys didn't forget to connect anything but we know that that was on purpose we we did it on purpose so it's normal so what I'm going to do is unconnect this new composite and if I delete that node, the composite node, it will get rid of all those connections. Just make sure that you unconnect it first because if I don't and I keep it in, what's going to happen is it will try to bring in all the connections to my uh, multi-port out of my group. So unconnect the composite first, delete it, and now it will get rid of all these unnecessary connections that I had to my um, pivots right here. Um, another type of extra connections that uh, we've, we uh, have right now that Harmony's created is that it also connects all of the ports of my color overrides. So all these little blue and green colors that come in through the top multi-port in which is the um, the upper portion of my node right here, that little port. Um, these should only have the master comp connected to it. Uh, Harmony, as I was mentioning, uh, connects these 
extra ports of your color override so you can just disconnect them real quick just pull on those ropes and unplug all of the uh, color override information you should only have your um, master peg connected at the top so quite easy if you just go from here you don't need to go into uh, every single uh, every single color override to go and unplug them you can just do it from here and once that is done right now as you can see I have my master pad connected here um, I have a blue port right here uh, because of the extra connections that were in there uh, indicating that I I would need to have a drawing layer information happening here but I would actually want to have a green port here because otherwise if I want to connect this to a um, a hierarchy setup when I get to scene planning I won't be able to create a peg on top of there because if I try to create a new peg as you can see I have a green little port right here at the bottom and I have a blue one here I I will be I won't be able to connect um, these two together because it says that I need an image port so I'm just going to unplug my master right here and reconnect it to uh, reset the connection here to be a transformation port. So I'm going back to my top view. Now if I create a peg for my group, it will be able to connect because peg has transformation information in its port. So that is all well and good. So now I have my group and I'm able to um, to have the entire thing much, much clearer inside of my node view. It is isolated and specific to my character as I have the information here. So when I have multiple characters, I'm able to access that information. So I hope that was useful and I will see you guys in the next few steps.